So you've had your eye on one of these snazzy enlightened equipment Apex Torrid synthetic jackets. Well, if you want to find out everything about it and my thoughts, keep watching. We'll go over every single detail of this thing. This jacket I, I custom ordered. I, I got to choose the color, the fabric, everything. And at the time of this video, it cost $190 plus shipping. That's, that's a very, very steep price tag. And yes, I did buy this with my own money. I'm not sponsored, I'm not big time or anything. I just wanted a different option uh, that was synthetic, not down to hike in moist and humid conditions. Today it's right around freezing, maybe just below it, it's actually snowing. But with a down jacket, if that gets wet, it loses all of its insulating uh, properties and capacity. Whereas the synthetic fill, like this jacket has, it doesn't. It'll still, it'll still keep you warm even if it's wet you know, or damp. So that's a big plus for canoe trips, winter trips, anything that's gonna have a lot of moisture. So that's why I chose to drop the big bucks on this thing. The size I ordered is a large. I'm five foot eight, right about 190 pounds. I did, however, use their size chart that they have on their website. I took the measurements around my chest and everything, and based on those stats, I needed a medium. So I dropped the money and I ordered a medium. Waited six weeks, showed up, and it was too small. <laughs> and you can't just return custom items, so I actually was able to sell it for full price because it was new turned around and reordered a large, which is what I thought I should wear in the first place. And it fits perfectly. So if you're gonna use that scale on their website and it tells you you're a little smaller than normal, for me, I, I order your normal size. Let's talk about fit, just the general sense of fit. Like I said, I'm five foot eight, about 190 pounds, you know, depending on the day. But this is a size large. And it is plenty, plenty big. There's enough room underneath so you can layer underneath, which is really, really nice. It is long enough so it won't creep up the back if you bend over or anything like that. So no drafts or anything that are gonna come up the back of this thing. Uh, also, the sleeves, they're raglan sleeves. What's a raglan sleeve? Raglan sleeve is a one-piece sleeve, one piece of material, with a diagonal seam running from basically the armpit all the way up to the collar. There's no regular shoulder seam that runs like, like a cuff. So that allows a lot more movement. There's no tightness and stretching here. It's, it's, the mobility is amazing. I mean, I, I'm not gonna get too crazy and do acrobats out here, but that room, because I'm kind of a, a, a stouter fellow, is really nice to have. I don't like when jackets constrict me, but the fit for a large for me is just about perfect. So out of all the options that they offer for custom orders from the materials, there's a bunch of different weights in the shell material. There's tons of different colors. You can choose the outside color. You can choose the inside color. You can just, you can customize it like crazy. For me, I went with the lightest weight option that they had. The outer is a micro grid ripstop 7D weight. Now seven is very, very light. It's pretty durable, but you're not gonna wanna run through thicker bushes or anything like that because it's gonna be not as durable as some of your thicker ones. The inside as well is a 7D. And I went with this color combination because I like the contrast. Now the 7D, I believe it runs a half ounce per yard. So a, a yard of this material weighs about a half ounce. Now the insulation inside, it's a synthetic, it's a, a Climax, uh, cl well, it's a Clima Shield Apex. It's their own proprietary insulation system. Now that weighs about two ounces per yard if there was a, a sheet of it. But it's, like I said, it's right around freezing and I'm just going for a little walk and I'm, I'm actually kind of warm. I'm a little warmer than I should be. And then all I have underneath this thing is a t-shirt. And I'm warm at freezing, maybe just below. So the warmth 
to weight ratio for this synthetic is is pretty good. I'm, I'm very surprised actually. Also, just to let you know, all of their jackets on the exterior, no matter what material you use, it's treated with a DWR. It's a durable water repellent finish. It just helps water hit the surface of the jacket, beat up and roll off before it has a chance to absorb. Now, is it waterproof? No, it's not waterproof at all. It's just a little bit of protection uh, for light mist, very, very light sprinkles, light snow, things like that. Um, it's just an, it's another way just to keep the jacket a little bit drier. Uh, water resistant a little bit, waterproof, no. But uh, that coating is, is actually pretty nice to have. But the hood, there's no adjustments up top here. There are a few little toggles right on the side that you can really cinch this thing down around your face. But the hood, very generous in size. If you had to, could you put a helmet underneath this, like, like a climbing helmet? Yeah, you probably could. It'll be a little tight, but you probably could. I like how it just seals your face around. And it's not too big to where when you walk around, it ends up doing this on you. But just regular, it does. It seals it up, seals it up keeps the drafts out, keeps your neck warm. Very functional hood. I'm, I'm a big fan of having hoods on my jackets now. It didn't used to be, but I'm, I'm sold. So get hoods. Just get hoods on your jackets. Let's talk about pockets. Now, it just has two standard hand warmer pockets. They're big enough to fit a gloved hand in. The zippers are very simple. Uh, I would like to see the zipper pulls be a little bit bigger, just so if you do have a gloved hand on, you can zip them up so nothing falls out of your pockets. What I do wish it had, I wish it had a chest pocket. Uh, I know it'll add a little bit of bulk, maybe a little bit of weight, but I use those chest pockets, you know, for phones and, and maps and, and even snacks, things like that, but just another little pocket. It doesn't have to be huge, just something where I can store just a few things on the chest. I'd like to see that. Whether it's inside or outside, it really doesn't matter, but that, that extra pocket would be nice. The one thing I did notice, it has very minimal seams on this jacket. There's a seam here and a seam here, but you know, there's no, there's no uh, baffles or anything in the jacket. It's just one piece of insulation. And of course, the main zipper, very, very standard. I do not think these are YKK zippers. Uh, if it is, I'll look it up and I'll leave it right there. Right there, it'll say yes YKK or no YKK right there. Um, but I've had no snagging issues, no binding issues. Again, I would still like to see the zipper pulls a little bit bigger. I suppose I could put little, little lanyards on it, I suppose. Um, but there's no waterproof covering or anything like that. It's just a standard zipper. And also one thing that I found kind of nice is sometimes when you zip these jackets all the way up, the zipper can sometimes get in your face, but they actually include this zipper locker. Just a little pocket right there where your zipper nestles. Is it necessary? No. Is it neat? Yeah, it's neat. Is this jacket packable? Does it pack into one of its own pockets? No, it's really not designed for that. For me, I don't really use that packable feature anyway. I just free stuff my jackets down in my pack. It, it, it takes the space a lot more efficiently in my opinion. Will this jacket replace my big down puffy on, on cold winter trips? Probably not. I will still keep a down puffy in my pack so I can put that on at camp when, when you know, you're slowing down and your body starts to cool down. And you'll need that bulk and that loft that down offers you. This I would consider a very good fall, late fall camp jacket, but it breathes really well, so it's an excellent active jacket. So if you're hiking like I'm doing and you're working up a little bit of body heat, this jacket is perfect for that. Let's have a look at the cuffs. Now they're very, very elastic and they're very, very tight. So the elastic that they use in it is pretty strong. There's no Velcro straps, nothing like that to be adjusted. It's just a very tight fitting cuff and it seals out the wrist pretty, pretty well. Um, if you have a big thick glove on, it may be a little tough to get it through, but it's, it's not a deal breaker, but this definitely will seal out drafts, seal out snow, what have you. So I, I like the cuffs. I, I don't mind the Velcro, but the standard elastic, it's pretty nice. I'm sure one of the biggest questions I'll get, what's the jacket weigh? This jacket in a 7D, material 
in a size large with a hood, on my scale, 8.4 ounces or 237 grams. Does it pack down really well? Yeah, it does okay. Does it pack as much as a down jacket? No, it doesn't. But for the weight and the warmth it gives you, like I said, the warmth to, to weight ratio is pretty damn good. In conclusion, Enlightened Equipment makes a really nice full featured jacket. It's all handmade in Winona, Minnesota. They make excellent top quilts, which is kind of like a sleeping bag. They make excellent apparel items and uh, they offer custom, custom designs, which is really, really nice. But the question is, $190 for a very lightweight, warm synthetic jacket. Is it worth it? The short answer, no. This jacket is not worth $190 plus shipping, so just over 200 bucks. Is it fully featured? Yes, it's got all the features that you would want in a jacket. Is it warm? Yeah, it's fairly warm. Does it look good? Yes, it looks good. But I think you could find a jacket with just as much, just as much function for way, way less. Now, if you're a through hiker and you're gonna hike 3,000 miles and you're looking to shave every gram, every bit of weight you can, and you have the extra cash lying around, sure, this jacket could very much be worth it. However, the materials it's made of, it's just not gonna last. I don't see this jacket lasting me for years and years and years and years. Uh, it's just, it's just, the materials just aren't made for a long-term wear, it's just not. But for, for, like I said, for the people who are looking to shave every single gram, this could be a benefit. But I'm glad I own it. Uh, I can't return it, it's custom ordered, and, and I will use it on my trips. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's the short answer. It, it's not worth $200. So, Enlightened Equipment, you have an awesome product here, you really do. But, if you have any questions about this jacket, or even want to razz me a little bit for buying a jacket that's not worth it, go ahead and leave those comments, questions down in the comment area. If you like gear reviews for outdoor hiking and backpacking equipment, you like backpacking videos, all that stuff, go ahead and subscribe right down there. That way you don't miss any of the videos when they drop. But I appreciate you watching and hopefully you learned a little something about the uh, Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex Climate Shield jacket. Um, a very functional piece of gear not worth 200 bucks. Thanks for watching.